This is the plaintiff, Mary Weiss. She says the defendant stole her three beloved dogs, won't give them back, and she's just heartbroken over it all. This woman's a menace to society. She can't be allowed to steal her dogs without some sort of punishment. And that's why she's suing her for $5,000, the value of her three kidnapped dogs. This is the defendant, Teresa Taylor. She says the plaintiff called to tell her she lost her home and needed to find new homes for her dogs. She took the dogs in out of the kindness of her heart. It was clear the plaintiff was giving them away to her. Now the woman's suing her for five grand? Is she serious? Bottom line, they're her dogs. She's not giving them back and is most definitely not giving the plaintiff any money. She's accused of being doggone insistent. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants, I'll sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You Mary in. Weiss, yes, you are you suing are. Teresa Taylor for $5,000, the value of three dogs of yours that you say she refuses to return. All right, what's going on? Uh, Your Honor, I adopted a dog from Teresa. How did you know her? Through a Craigslist ad. Oh, so you didn't know her? No. Okay. And then, so she puts up an ad on Craigslist to adopt a dog. Was it an older dog or a younger dog? It was an older dog. Okay. And why were you adopting the dog? Um, my father became ill, and I didn't want to see him go to a pound. Okay. So you adopt the dog. Did you get money for it? I did. Well, how much money did you $100. get? $100. Okay. And then what happened? So in the meantime, I adopted two other puppies. In the meantime, not from her, but through another Craigslist ad from two different breeders. And uh, then Three dogs? Three dogs, yes. Okay. Yes, you have your children? Yes, you have. Two okay. puppies, actually. And then Say one, it again. Two puppies and one senior dog. How many kids do you have? I have one that's 24, I have one that's 12 and 13. And the 12 and 13 live with you? Yes. Okay, yes, go you're on. on. Go on. Okay, so then the story happened was uh, I was getting evicted, and I had, to, I had to find another place. So I asked her if I can, if she, you know, I thought she was a nice woman. So I asked her if she could babysit or foster my dogs until I got a place. Okay. Do you have that in writing? Yes. Did I you do. send an email? I or have text? that in text messaging, and May I have I see the text message. Sure. Okay. Oh, there's more. There's more. September third, twenty fifteen, at one thirty nine p.m. Mm -hmm. Hi, Teresa. It's me, Mary, Chico's adoptive parent. I was wondering if I pay you 150 a month plus supply of dog food for two months so I don't lose my dogs. I have Chico and a miniature dachshund and miniature chihuahua pups. Please let me know ASAP. I'm p I plan on living, leaving New York to stay at a friend's place to live rent free so I can get a new home for my boys and dogs. Sure, no problem. Sure, NP. Really, you are a lifesaver. If I pay for $50 in gas, could you pick them up? I'll give you $200 cash for this month. If you can't, I'll take a bus and train to you. I am staying at the La Quinta Inn because I'm homeless and my boys are in Florida. Do you know of someone who would rent to me? My two tweens and three dogs? Boy, way to make your life more complicated. <laughs> sure, where are they? I'll come as soon as I pick up my daughter from school if that's okay. God bless you, no problem. Anytime it's okay with me, thank you. NP, babe, on my way. You are a dream. How'd that dream turn out? Oh, nightmare, I'm sorry. Chico, then you respond at 1026. Chico, you respond. Mm -hmm. Chico was so happy to be here. He really missed the kids and his pal, Junior. The other two are doing good. They love the kids and are sleeping with them. That's great. The puppies don't seem to miss me, she says. Mm -hmm. Please make sure the puppies are handled gently by the little kids. I appreciate what you're doing for me. So do my boys. Give a kiss to the dogs. Okay, so then what happens? Um, I finally got a place a month later and I contacted her. I was requesting for my dogs back when I could make arrangements. And she then all of a sudden turned around and said, my dogs, all of a sudden they're her dogs. And she's like, you can't have my dogs. One of them is sick, Chico is sick. You gave me back Chico sick after you adopted. And then she just denied giving my dogs back. So then I made several attempts. I went uh, through the police and then I also went through um, through the district attorney, and they told me I had to send her, a, a, you know, a, was a demand letter for my return of my dogs, and that was it. And then they told you to come to court, and here yes. we are. What's going on? Okay, um, everything that she states is very false. 
um, when I got to where I was going to pick up the dogs, the story completely changed. Okay. Everything seems to be about money with her. I'm not interested in money. I just want her to go away, leave us alone, and stick with the final arrangement that she made. The final arrangement, unfortunately, all I have is messages saying, this is what you told me. This is what you told me. When I went to pick her, I mean, she was hysterical crying. She was this, she was that. Then she called me from South Carolina. I, I, I'm not going to be able to make it back. I don't have money. I don't know what to do. do I can't find a job here. Yeah, I mean, it was it was horrible. Like, she was going back and forth. That actually should I be... I need to see the back and forth. Because um, I, I guess what you're suggesting is that what I read out loud to you mm-hmm. changed. Changed. So I need to see the evidence that it changed. That was all verbal. This was face to face when I got there. It was I don't have money right now up front. Oh, um, so she I did, will, are you saying she didn't pay you the two hundred? Right. I will be able to give you money later at did a certain date. Did she ever give you the two hundred? No. Okay. Did you ever give her the two hundred to take care of your dogs? Yes, Your Honor. Did you get a receipt? No, because I thought this was an honest woman. What, what does that have to do with anything? Cash doesn't leave one hand without a receipt going into the other. I've been saying this for how long now? Fifteen years. Do you ever watch people's court? That's been you my... Should. No, I don't. Yeah, well, now you should. I'm sorry. All right. So... <clears throat> do you have any evidence in a text message about the transfer of money? Yes. Let me see that. It was... Let me hear from you while she's looking for that. According to you, she never pays you. According to her, she paid you that night. And then yeah. what happens? Because um, I don't see in your text, when are you going to pay me? I don't see that. And I do see the several texts on September 3rd, 4th, I, and after that. I do. You guys have, are in constant text contact. Yes, and so, I, I do have message where I said you haven't given me anything. Let me see your, that. Let me your, see that. Let me see your that. Your story has changed. Yeah. And, and now, that's not once you decide to keep the dogs, right? That's right at the time, right? This was before court even became okay. an option. But because then, no, I is said, this after you said, these are my dogs? Yes. Yeah. See, once you say to somebody, you're not welcome in my home, do not come. These are Mm -hmm. my dogs. My kids love them. They're better with me. I take better care of them. I just paid their vet bills. And then then you say, and by the way, you never gave me money. That doesn't work for me. What I want to see is because why? Because I'm looking for you saying something about it before there's a motive to lie. That's what judges look for. I understand. They look for you saying, by the way, you haven't given me money. You didn't give me money when I picked up the dogs. When are you going to give me the money? The next day, that would show out. Lady, you didn't give her the money. And then I would be suspect about her credibility. So tell me, what is the reason that you will not return these dogs to her? Convince me when that she, you are legally correct. When she called and said, I cannot come back. I, do, I cannot afford it. She said that In she In those could, text messages, does she say, I can't make it back? I need no, you to keep the dogs? this was via phone. That's why my husband's okay, here. Okay, so when she's texting, she's saying, I'm she's having She's like tr- two different people. I'm sorry? She's like two different people. Is it or is it that you're a liar and you want to keep her dog? I swear I could even show you character witness okay. what of I the type of person she is. What I want from you is evidence that you have a legal right to the dogs that you clearly agreed to only foster until she got back on her feet. Welcome back to the People's Court, RV11 here. So should she be forced to give these dogs back? She apparently grew attached to them. I think so because she truly is the owner and if they made the statement and made it clear between them each that it's other, a caretaker. that it's a yeah. caretaker type situation, yeah. then she should have to give them back. Got you. What do you say? Well, I think that basically she should give them back because the dogs were not originally hers. And even though she's attached, someone else is attached to them too. That's true, but at a point, don't you kind of know that the other person's going to get attached to the animal? I mean, don't you know that the other person's going to start loving the dog? Yeah. So, you're going to rip them away from her? Say, know, say yes, it's probably the right answer. Yes. Good job. Good <laughs> job. Okay, going inside the courtroom. So, she literally says one thing on the phone and then contradicts it in every text. And blows because my mind. Because every text, every, and one, you know what's interesting is that not once is there a text that you answer saying, what are you talking about? We just hung up. You said I could keep the dog. Not once is there anything that looks like that. Towards so, what is it? Is it that you feel ma- that she's not an appropriate owner for the dog? Not at all. All right. Tell me about that. Because why would I want to take on expenses of my Oh, because you have kids and your kids got attached to the two cute little puppies and the dog that used to be your dad's? Nothing to do with that at all. I have animals of my own. Yeah, I know. That doesn't mean anything when kids get attached to animals. 
I, I wouldn't do that. That's just not the type of person I am. It isn't? Okay, no. so tell me, why is it not that you're not at returning all. the dogs? She told you me to keep them. You said you had character them. witness, you had character evidence or something. I, I mean, I have character witness of, like, the type of person she is on, on even in general, where okay. she, like, constantly scams people. Let me see that. What are you talking about? I mean, she's constantly blowing people up and scamming people. And Okay, show me the evidence you're referring I, I to. I will. Can you describe who she scammed and how she scammed them and Just, why you conclude she It seems to be like everybody she comes No, no, that's again a conclusion. With. Give me one instance of the scams you are referring to. Things that I've seen on Facebook. Like after. What? what? How did you see on Facebook that huh? she cheated somebody? Who's the fellow with you? My husband. Come on up if you want. Who did she scam on Facebook? Um, Ex-boyfriends. How um, though? What is it you're talking about? Apparently, she steals money from people. That's what he told me. I mean, I even spoke to you him. You spoke to an ex-boyfriend? Yes. What did you say to him? I um, just asked um, about her because I knew nothing about her. I didn't understand what was going on. I, it was like I was speaking to somebody who was bipolar, like, night and day. It was horrible. You, uh, the things that I was going through was horrible. What a horrible thing were you going through? I see a hundred texts that say, can I have my dogs? Why can't we? Why can't you? And I see you who think you're a better home for the dogs, and so you've decided to just wave your magic wand and change a, a contract that you have with them. You understand that dogs are property, right? I do. You understand that you can't just keep somebody's property because you think you're better than the person who's homeless, I right? I didn't think I was okay, better. Okay, so I need to see something that would entitle you. You had to know this wasn't going to go well for you. I need to see something that would entitle you to take the position you're taking in court. That's all I'm asking. I'm not picking on you. I am demanding that you prove your case. Well, that's why he's here with me, because I, I put the phone, I mean, she spoke to him. I, I put it on speakerphone when she was like, I cannot take care of the dogs. Okay, right, may I, I hear cannot. from you? Your Honor, we, I overheard the phone conversation on speaker. We were sitting down going to watch TV. She was in South Carolina. She didn't have any money. She didn't know if she was even coming back to New York. She didn't know if she was going to be take care of her dogs or whatever. Ever, or she didn't know when she was coming back to New York? I guess when, but she says she didn't know when she was going to be able to come back and then okay. if she was going to even be able to take the dogs back. Okay. So and she was. You said what? I didn't say anything. I just overheard what? it was on speaker. Okay, so she said what? She, she took it apparently as she was surrendering the dogs. Did you ever hear her say, "I am surrendering <clears throat> the dogs to you"? And you just he just she just coached you to say yes, folks. There is zero evidence of your legal entitlement to these three dogs. Zero. It is not enough for you to say, she's a bad person, look at all this stuff on Facebook. I saw the stuff on Facebook. Apparently she's putting on some risque videos or whatever, you know, that people who put up risque videos on YouTube are allowed to have dogs. And they're allowed not to have other people take their dogs. So I am, ish oh, by the way, I want, I want to be clear. Sure. You want your dogs back, right? Yes, Your Honor. Right, that's what you're really yes. wanting here. All right, I am issuing an order that you two return the dogs. That is my verdict. Thank you. Okay? Um, plus your court costs. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And by the way, that's not my ex-boyfriend. That's a stalker. Well, the defendant just could not present enough of a case in the courtroom to keep those dogs. Uh, so what's your reaction here to this? You, you'll be giving them I back. I lost a lot of money, and I will never deal with Craigslist ever again. Well, where's your evidence? Where, where's the copies of the text? She's just a really good scam artist. Everything was mostly on the phone, and then she's got mental issues. So I uh -huh. couldn't prove. All right, so you'll be turning the dogs over, and then? And then never dealing with her again. Uh, okay. All right, there you go. Okay, step down in here, and what do you have to say for yourself here? I'm ecstatic. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. I'm happy to get my dogs back. I miss them so much. I'm glad I'm here today. Really, I'm glad. Mm -hmm. And she made the right decision. The judge is the best. What did, you, what did you have to say to the defendant when that case ended? I said, by the way, that's not my ex-boyfriend you spoke to. That was my stalker. Oh, you have a stalker? Yes. Okay, Harvey? Uh, okay, Kurt, happy news. Guess what? The plaintiff got the dogs back.